So welcome back to ICT paper 3.1 for Feb March 2023. We will start with the first task, which is for a spreadsheet. So task one, we're, we're going to be supplied with these files. I have already uh, extracted all of these files over here. And task one starts with the evidence document. We need to create a new word process document. And make sure your name, center number, candidate number appear on every single document and save this document with the name with this name, followed with your candidate number, your center number, and then your candidate number. We are going to use it for that. So let me just prepare this one. I'm going to right click here and new. And I'm going to select Word document. Just make sure you're giving it the right name. And then we're going to put the name in the header or footer in any of those places. So I'm just going to add in the header the three blank column and just put the name center number and candidate number. Okay, so that's ready. One thing, the way that we have to write down the evidence, it always starts with a step, whatever step you're in, that specific step over here, and then evidence. So I'm going just to replace this with whatever we need of steps. I will just make it all capital like the previous ones and then going to change later the step number and the evidence numbers later will increase. So let's go to task two spreadsheet. The Tora Cricket Club records on a spreadsheet the number uh, on uh, records on a spreadsheet the number of runs scored by each player in each match that they played. Okay. So question number one open and examine this batting CSV file in your spreadsheet. Okay, first of all let's open it. Choose batting. So we have the first team batting statistics, batting and the name of the matches. And then what do we have here? Uh, not out, okay. Average scores, the number of matches played. And then we have the names down here and the scores for each match. The highest score and the lowest score in the match, we can get it over here. Okay, so delete row number two. Let's put it delete number two okay anyway okay insert a new row at the top of the spreadsheet okay so insert a new one and merge the cells from a1 to v1 and place the text tawara cricket club in the merge file so from a1 till v1 till here I need to merge it and i need to place this text in it okay uh, merge a2 till v2 so a2 also till v2 we need to merge them and then place in the footer right aligned this the text spreadsheet edited by followed by space by your name center number and candidate number so let's go to the view Click on page layout and in the footer, we need to place it on the right line. Right aligned is here. So I need to put the text first, separate it by space, and then your number and candidate number. So name, candidate number, and uh, sorry, this is center number, and then your candidate number. And just one thing, make sure that this is right uh, on the right line, but make sure that it is later over here okay i just cannot click it needs to be also right aligned but anyway i can see that it is already right aligned okay let me just close it back again view and if you click on file and click on print you're supposed to be able to see it at that time Okay, after that, save this spreadsheet as this name followed with your center number and candidate number, for example, this one. I'm just going to copy this name and save it. So file, save as, browse. One thing here is very important after the name is changing the file format. This is, must be Excel, otherwise all the formula for, uh, 
formatting, everything will disappear if you saved it in a CSV. Okay, for the next point, question number two, format the spreadsheet to look like this. I'm just going to put them next to each other. Hopefully I will be able to see. Okay. So I have the first row, it's supposed to be large in size. And it's going to be gray background and white text. Next one also needs to be a lighter gray. Black color, let me make it a bit, okay, that's fine. Then number three, we need to make it seems in a wrapping style. I'm just going to click here and then I'm going to go to wrap and click over here. Let me just expand it. And you can see here this wrapping whenever it is in more than one row, the text that means it's wrapped. So I'm just going to, and they need to be in the center. As you can see over here, all of them needs to be in the center. I'm going to increase the font size a bit. Okay, this needs to be right aligned. I can see the rest from, and all in the center is supposed to be also center aligned. So I'm just going to highlight everything in the center and make it center aligned. And if so, I will keep also this right aligned. Okay. So, okay, it's giving me here format row one to have 36 points, sans serif, white, and a dark gray background. So, the dark gray background, did I select it? The dark gray. Okay, I think that's fine. And the phone needs to be 36. The row two have 18 points, sans serif. This is sans serif, sans serif, and this needs to be 18. Uh, black on a light gray background. Okay, question number three. I think I'm done and it's quite similar. For number three, place in cell U4, a function to count the number of matches played by this player, replicated this for each player. So let's go to U4. So number of matches played by each player. These are the players. They played here and those supposed to show the number of uh, so it's going to be count and because there are just numbers we're going to use count simply and till here those were 17 matches and then we're going just to replicate it we're not making any absolute value because we need it to be replicated relative to each name Okay, the next one in number four, place in cell B3 till cell B34, the function to display the highest and lowest scores for this match, replicate this uh, for the other matches. Okay, B33, so B33 is going to be here, so the highest score and lowest score. In highest score, we're going to use maximum and here we're going to use minimum. And I'm not going to fix it or I'm not going to make it absolute value because I need it to be going till the last match. Okay. The next one will be minimum. So just the same. Okay, perfect. Next one. Play, uh, question number five. Place a replicable formula in V4 to calculate the average score for this player. Rounded to, so I need to get the average score for this player. Round it, and then I need to round it to one decimal place. Okay. 
So D4. The average score for each player, I need to point it out and I need to round it up, okay? Okay, this way it is explained over here, so let me explain it to you. So we need to place in that D4 to calculate the average score and they give us how to calculate it. So average score will be the total runs scored. To get the total runs scored, we need to get it by using sum. Value we need to highlight over all of those matches, which is from B4 till R4. So from B4 till R4. Okay, so this is highlighting all the matches. And one thing also here, we need to divide it over the number of matches played. So the number of matches played is already given to us. You can see this is the number of matches played and minus not out. So this is going to be T4. So everything is given. All we need to do is just first of all, we need to get the summation, which is of all the matches summation. And then we need to divide it over. Here the bracket is important because uh, it needs to know that first you cannot divide, you need first to get the subtraction, okay? So it needs to be U4, which is the number of matches, minus T4. So U4 minus T4. I cannot select easily here, that's why I have to write it down. So that's the first part, okay? Second part of the question, it says you need to round it to make sure the contents are not displayed. Uh, first of all, sorry, here. It's rounded to one decimal place, so I need to round this. Okay, to one decimal place. Another thing, I need one thing also. Edit this formula to make sure that the cell contents are not displayed if this player has played fewer than five matches. So I don't want to show anything. It should be empty if it is less than five matches. So here if is the best thing to use as an if condition. So the condition is going to be that if the matches, which is U4, number of matches, is less than 5. Let me check the question again. Uh, fewer than 5 matches, not equal. Okay, so less than 5 matches. Then if it is less than matches, make it empty. Otherwise, calculate it and show me the average. So let's replicate it. There is again why this become like this? Okay. Okay, after that, question number six, save your spreadsheet and print your spreadsheet showing the formula. Make sure the row and the columns headings are displayed. Okay, first of all, let me go here. Adjust it. Anyway, we're going to go to formula and show the formula and we need to readjust it again. Okay, right now we need to go to print, page setup. So they're asking us to make sure the row and column headings are displayed. So go to sheet, row and column headings are displayed. So that's the first point. Grid lines are displayed, so grid lines. Page orientation is landscape. I need to make sure it is landscape and the contents of cells are fully visible and can easily be read so click on OK you can see everything is visible and can easily be read they didn't mention about one single page or anything so that can be fine just print it out for question number seven sort all the data of, for the players in descending order depending on the average scores and we should not have the average scores displayed, must be those players who do not have any average score, they should appear at the bottom of the list. So to do so, we need to go here, first remove the formula, adjust it back again. Okay, and based on the average score, we need to decide so let's highlight all over those players, including the average score, and then go to Home and click on Custom Sort. You can just go and select Column V. 
and make it from descending order largest to smallest. What happened those who do not score or have any average? It's at the top. I need it to be at the bottom. So I'm just going to cut this whole rows of whoever didn't score. I'm just going to cut it and I'm going to place it temporarily here down here. And at the top, I'm going to bring these back. Cut it and I'm going to paste it here at the top. And then let's return back again these at the top here. Okay, it's working. Finally, save your spreadsheet under this name. So I'm just going to save it and change it according to your candidate numbers. So and make sure it is Excel workbook. And this here, it needs to be whenever we're printing, we need to right now show the values. So make sure that they already change it to show the values, not the formula anymore. And we need to make sure also the row and columns are not displayed. So let's go to the print, page setup, sheet, row and columns are not displayed. Okay. Uh, grid lines are not displayed, so just remove it. Page orientation is landscape. Okay, landscape. And the contents of all cells are fully visible and easily read, so I'm just going to check it right now. Uh, one thing also, it's, there is nothing about fitting in their one page or no, so let me a bit adjust this. Mm. That's going to be too small. I'm just going to try to fit it at least. I, I, I think that's better. But still, you feel it's too small, just make it as no scaling, and this will be clear. I prefer this way. That's much better. Okay, that's the end part of spreadsheet. And then you have task three, which is file management and image manipulation. That will be part of the if you check in the description box, you're going to be able to see that there is the whole list of this paper you're watching, whatever is the paper. If you check here in the gray, you're going to be able to see the whole list of the paper that you're currently watching. You will be able to see which related with the same variant. And another thing, if you click on more, you will be able to have a link to download those source files. I have uploaded them all. Uh, the paper that whatever paper you're currently working in it, you can just locate it depending on the number and you can open it and download their related files. The same thing also at the same location, you will be able to see the timestamps for whatever question related with you can just easily click on it. For further papers, if you are interested, you can just go to the playlist and click on it, or you can go to the main page and you can see here different playlists. Otherwise, you can see more playlists. If you click on the playlist over here, you will be able to see all the playlists.